right, we got a Cup Cadet snowblower that will not start. It has gas in it. The oil is looking good. It actually looks a little overfilled, but then not, that will not cause it not to start. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is pull the spark plug out and check for spark. You just hold the spark plug, ground it out on the valve cover, push the start button. And make sure you have spark. And we have spark, so that is good. So what I'm gonna do with that spark plug out is spray a little bit of starting fluid right down on the top of the cylinder. And we'll put the spark plug back in and see if it'll pop off. I suspect it will. All right, so we have something from, you know, getting to the carburetor into the cylinder. So let's try to clean this carburetor out. So one way of possibly fixing this is not taking this all apart. <laughs> um, the carburetor is just, it's right here. The bolt that holds on everything is right here. Um, the tire is in the way. I might take it off here, but I got it tilted up so that the gas is running away. Gas will come out because there is gas in the carburetor. But once all that gas runs out of there, that's all this. I can smell it. It smells like old gas. So now that the gas has ran out, or should I say old gas, and now I, I can I can see clear gas coming through it now. We'll tighten this bolt back up. We'll try to start it again. Nope, no luck. That's okay. We tried. Because if, if that works, that saves you a ton of time. Because now we got to pull all this off. It isn't that bad. Just pop the knob off for the choke. 10 millimeter bolts on the sides here. There should be one here, but it's MIA. So that tells me somebody was trying to do something. But you take those off and then pull this up and you got to just get the line for the prime unhooked and remove it from here too. Sometimes it doesn't like to come off. There it goes. And then you just remove the two nuts that hold on the, the carburetor. Make sure you don't lose these two little metal sleeves and the, the gasket because we're going to reuse those. And move our clamp for the fuel line. Take a screwdriver and just pry that up, wiggle it. I just use a screwdriver. Stop the gas from leaking everywhere. I mean, you're gonna spill some. And then pull the carburetor out, disconnect the spring and your linkage. And then off it'll come.
I'm gonna just take this all apart. We're gonna take the main jet out. And I suspect that is what's clogged up. Yeah, there it is. And then we'll remove the idle set screw. And the pilot jet here. Uh oh, don't lose it. <laughs> So hopefully you can see that on camera. Look at, I mean, yeah. The emulsion tube is just, it's all gunky. So there's all these little pinholes and this is the side that was sitting in the gas. So it sits in there like that. So it's all clogged up. And then oh, there's a pinhole in the main jet and it is 100% clogged. So I'm just gonna take a wire that I have off a lawnmower. I got the little splines unraveled. And I use that just to make sure everything is not clogged up. So stick that the end of, end of the pilot jet and that went right through. That's usually the case because it sits so high in the carburetor that no gas sits there. Through the main jet, just wiggle it through, blow some air through it, and then hold it up to your light. Now I can see light through there. So now I'm just gonna do the same thing to the emulsion tube. And another thing I do is I take carb cleaner and I spray it through this hole right here. Make sure that it flows through and that hole there. Give it a good cleaning. Spray some down here. Now we just gotta put it back together. Motion tube, main jet. Put our pilot jet back in and our idle set screw. Okay, then we put our float and our needle back on. And the pin that holds it in place. Put our bowl on and our nut. So putting it on, it's just the reverse of what we did, taking it off. Put your linkage up. Put your spring up. Put our gas line back on. And then we'll put our cover back on. So I started sliding this on, I almost forgot my gasket. So I'll put that back up enough. Oop. Let's get back on there. And don't forget these little metal sleeves. And then just tighten these. And 
And then hook your prime line back up. And now we're gonna make sure it starts and runs. So we don't wanna put all this plastic back on yet. So we'll prime it. Just that carburetor was gunked up, that main jet was clogged 100%, and the emulsion tube was uh, pretty nasty there. So the moral of this video is don't leave gas sitting in your small engine equipment for a long period of time because that's what it does. Unfortunately, that's, that's the gas we get today. The best gas, gas is ethanol free. But yeah, I hope this helped you out. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, put them down below.